Hey YouTube, I'm back with a quickie today. It's not really a tutorial because um, it's so easy and quick. Even a fifth grader could do it. <laughs> Joke. But anyways, I've taken some hamburger and I added salt and pepper only and I shaved it into a hamburger patty. You know those type of hamburger patties that never come out flat like the restaurant. So yeah, that's what I've done. I've taken them, shaped them up. Placed it into a baking sheet with a very little water. I wouldn't say very little. I would say maybe a half a cup of water. Maybe not even that much. It's according to how many, uh, how many people you're feeding. How big your baking sheet is. And what I've done, I cooked it for about 25 to 30 minutes until done. I've taken them out of the oven. Placed it on a paper towel with some cheese. Let the cheese melt and sit for a while so it can cool. And this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. Yeah, some of the cheese is trained on a paper towel, boo-hoo. But anyways, joke. But anyways, I will show you the end results of my donut hamburger. It's very easy. You add what you like on. It's just like a regular hamburger. You just add what you like on it. Again, you know me and tomatoes. We don't mix. So, um, I mix with tomatoes, but not really on certain things like salads and burgers and all that good stuff. But this is your recipe. You cook it the way you want to and add anything the way you want it. I don't do measurements, as you know, because I eyeball a lot of things. So if you're not an eyeballer, then you probably want to break down to measurements. And I don't have measurements because I don't do them. So if I tell you to add a teaspoon of salt and then you go, wow, there's no salt in this, it didn't come out like you said it was yummy. And if I tell you to add, you know, you get the picture. I don't want to tell you to add one teaspoon, blah, 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 or, you know. So anyways, I will definitely show you the plating of the donuts. I just cooked some fries off to the side. I did not bake the fries. I fried them in some vegetable oil. You're welcome to do your fries or any type of size you want to do with this. But like I said, it's not really a tutorial today because I ex explained it. But you can rewind it if you like to listen to what I said. Only salt and black pepper that I added. That's the way I like my burgers. But again, you're welcome to add anything into your recipe. Okay, and here we are. I've put my burger together. What I like to put on it, I put pickles and lettuce, mayo. Yeah, I know everybody says, well, you have such a simple burger. Where's the tomatoes and onions? Well, I don't like that on my burger, so sorry. But as I said before, you can add whatever you like to your burger. And I just did some fries on the side with ketchup, and this is it. So... It's a fair favorite, and my kids like it, and I do too. At first, I couldn't put it together. Hmm, a donut burger. Wow. But I was convinced by my little ones to definitely try it. So I tried it, and I liked it. Hope you will too. Thanks for watching.